Honestly, I'm just going to start it there because I feel like that'll have a more like live sort of feel. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Almost just... sprained another ankle. No, that's, we, we're not even going to manifest that. What we're going to manifest is that we have a special guest for today's Swatch Show, folks. I will give you a polish for the first person who guests. Well, I'm going to tell them, so never mind. This is a bad game. First comment on this YouTube video gets free polish from me. How about that? Yay. Yay. Um, this is the fall 2024 version of the Swatch Show. We are stoked to show these colors to you. If you've never watched the Swatch Show, we show you the polishes in bottle. We show them to you on Swatch 6, and then we show them to you compared to their most similar color cousins. So as you're making your polish selections, you know how they'll fit into the rest of your collection. Dee, how do you feel about being on your first swatch show? I'm so excited. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, I feel like the swatch shows for me are one of my favorite things to put on the big screen. Like if you have airplay to your TV or the YouTube app on your TV, I highly recommend watching this on the big screen. Yes, you must hear D and I in high definition sound. It's really the way to go. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's get into it. This is the fall 2024 collection, like I said. This collection sort of began on like this like image of like a very chic person, perhaps someone in like graduate school studying art, and it kind of evolved into this sort of art studio kind of feel because we've always felt like all of y'all's manis are masterpieces. Um <laughs> Pebbles agrees. And so we kind of developed this very moody, sort of a little bit of like smoky, dusty mid-tones with some dark shades for fall. And all the names are very arty and fun. So let's get into it. I am wearing self-portrait here, which is here on the left. This is like a neutral gray blue. We have Sculpture Wing next, which is like a neutral gray lavender. Museum Date, which is a chocolatey brown with shimmer in it. Garnet Glass, which is a jelly deep red kind of garnet color. Patron of the Arts is an impossible shade to describe, Dee. I don't know what words you would use to describe it, but first of all, I would say it's Fall in a Bottle, one. Um, yeah, Patron of the Arts is, it's definitely giving like the first breeze of fall. Absolutely. It's woody, it's purpley, it's mauvey, it's got a touch of rose. It's it's epic. Um, Still Life of Flowers is this dusty kind of mossy green color. And then for the folks who purchase any Manny system, that means the Manny system, the fall system, or the complete system, our free gift to you is Girl with the Pearl Nail Polish, a nod to our friend Vermeer's iconic painting. So let's get into the comparison, shall we? I don't know what order these are in, so we're all gonna just be surprised. Okay, we're starting with Sculpture Wing. So let's get these friends out of the way. Sculpture Wing is the ideal kind of gateway fall neutral, I think, because it has a little bit of sweetness of pink and purple, but it's still really balanced with a lot of gray, which I think feels like quite yummy in fall. So I pulled some lavenders for us here, and then I also pulled a little bit more grayish shades, like with CDJ here. TT, I'd say, is the closest color comparison. TT is a bit more gray, I would say. But then when you get it next to shades like Jacaranda, Sculpture Wing starts to look a lot more beigey neutral, and Jacaranda looks more like a Barney purple. So again, colors are really crazy when you start to see them all together. But I think what's really interesting is this interplay between the usual TT a little bit of that beiginess of LHG or CDJ, and then like a little kiss of, of lavender. So this is a do not miss purple in your collection. D, what are your thoughts? I love this one. I love like the hints of kind of like giving that gray um, shade to it. 
I totally agree. Yeah, Sculpture Wing is, it was like a nod to sort of these like warm purpley tones that we see in, in marble sculpture. So we could get, we could get lost in this Sculpture Wing, guys. Yeah, it would, I kind of want to build a sculpture out of Sculpture Wing. Oh my God. Also the names in general for this collection are top tier, probably one of my favorite named collections to date. Oh my gosh, speaking of date, museum wow. date, how did you do that? Wow, wow. Wow. Wow, okay. This one, I think you guys are gonna go bonkers for. What do you say, Dee? This one, yeah, it's a showstopper. It, um, I guess, I don't know, when the, whenever this airs, today, <laughs> filming date, uh, when we were on set the other day shooting it, you spilling this out was like, so magical with the shimmer. I'm inclined to agree. This is like a chocolatey cinnamon sparkly, but the glitter is super subtle. So it feels really sophisticated and chic. It doesn't feel like it's too like loud or party party. There's so much multi-dimensional depth to it. Um, so it's like a little mix of like different kind of flecks of micro glitter in there. So the shades that I pulled here, again, this is a super unique color, so you're not gonna see anything that's like a perfect one-to-one, -one, but I pulled some beloved browns here. So CN, which is like nearly black. It's a super, super dark chocolate. JJ has a bit more of that cinnamon warmth. Um, Tip Your Barista and Americano are much more kind of classic coffee browns. But I wanted to bring in OJSM and Penny as well because I think they capture some of that really soft sort of crushed glitter effect. And to me, You Are Perfect from winter of last year is another dark shade with sort of dimensional glitter in it. I would say Museum Date is a little bit sparklier, but again, if you wanna wear shimmer in a sophisticated way, here's your, here's your go-to. Perfect for going on a date to maybe a museum. I couldn't agree more. It all, One of the early names for this one was like a reference to like someone's very chic like library where they had like rich mahogany things and then it started to go kind of anchorman so we nixed that idea. Anyone, anyone with an anchorman reference. Okay, next we have Still Life of Flowers. Okay, I think this is my favorite of the collection. Okay, tell me about it. Well, I I just love green. And I feel like there's this campaign for green just in general to have more green shades. But this fits so perfectly with my bedroom decor as I'm sitting in here watching you film this. Mm. Uh, it is so perfect. Um, I love kind of like how soft it is and... I think this is going to be the first shade that I fully paint. Mm. It is very soft. It has like this like sort of velvety soft kind of like, like you could almost pet it. But it has like this like softness to it that I think feels less in your face. I feel like green, some people are still afraid to wear, but this one almost because it's so grayed out is it's one to sort of dip your toes into the green trend. Um, definitely a lot more blue in it compared to WKF, which is another kind of beloved fall green. Um, and it's definitely less yellow khaki than Seiji from our first quick dry collection. Much more like a dustier version of almost like into the trees, but not really. Um, oh no, sorry, that was Besties. I'm losing it, guys. It's almost like a more grayed out version of Besties. And then when you get into the trees, into the mix, that looks like a dark teal. It doesn't even look like a green, it has so much blue in it. Um, and as you work into sort of more out there greens, bocce ball looks like neon and then KMC is so much lighter and a lot more, a lot more kind of gray. Anywho, team green as always, do us a favor and sell out Still Life of Flowers so that we continue to make amazing green shades for all of y'all every season because team green is a small but mighty team. Yeah, this one's, this one's beautiful. Alrighty. 
So far, I haven't done anything super crazy on this live yet, or this recording. Should we take a picture of these swatch sticks and post them somewhere, Dee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's my computer telling me that I'm having a meeting with Dee in 10 minutes, so she's already here. Oh, I just needed... <laughs> There's mine. <laughs> Oh, right. Here is Garnet Glass. This is a jelly sheer, um, kind of like crimson garnet red. Um, so we have a couple jelly reds to show next to it. Lux Loafer from fall of last year goes way darker. It also has, I think, a touch more purple in it. Y'all are going to have the most fun layering this color, no question. Here's Candy Dipped, which is a jelly red. And then wanted to bring in a couple other dark reds just to show you how this fits into the universe. CV being that classic sort of cherry red. I think Nail Fee Time is more like aligned with Garnet Glass. It's somewhere in between. It's like a Jelly SC is what I would call a Garnet Glass or a, or a slightly darker Jelly Nail Fee Time. Um, and then Cozy Up I thought was interesting to bring in too because it has a lot more brown in it, but this color is so fun, built sort of on top of itself as this like bouncy, deep garnet color, but layered over on, you know, anything else gives it so much depth and stuff. It'll be really fun. I want to try this over like a super dark brown, like a really dark cherry mocha kind of vibe. Yeah, I was just going to say this would be perfect for the cherry mocha trend. Um, it's also giving like a just moody, glass of red wine mm. fall moment absolutely when you're when you're you know reading your art coffee table books with a nice glass of garnet glass you know yeah and the lights are like slightly dimmed yes you're in a sweater obviously yeah by the fire obviously obviously um, so yeah, this one's, awesome. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite fall collections we've ever done. It might even be up there with my fall 2021 vibes. I don't know. What's your favorite fall collection? Be? Um, that's hard for me to say because I feel like even in the past TikTok lives that I've done, I always make a comment where I'm like, I don't, if I wasn't here for it, I don't know it exists, like the launches. Um, but I, I, I started working here right when y'all launched um, the coffee shop mm -hmm. collection and I was obsessed with that one. So I'll say that was, that one's my favorite. Okay. I'll allow that. Cause it was like the first, you know, collection of your favorite job you've ever had, et cetera. Yeah. All right, this one is a shape shifter. All right, let's just say that this one is a very beautiful fall color that is hard to describe. So let's start with that. But Patron of the Arts, what I've pulled are a smattering of various sort of dark, woody, purpley kind of colors. And I think whatever you put Patron of the Arts next to, it kind of morphs into. I would say it's like a, it's closest friends are fawn and check it. So we think you're gonna love it, first of all. It's definitely darker than Fawn and Shacket. I would say Fawn and Shacket, Shacket has like a touch of brown red. Fawn has like a touch of gray. And then Patron of the Arts for me has a little bit of that purpley kind of art class sort of vibe to it. Um, but again, Fall in a Bottle would be the best way I would describe it. Yeah, this is definitely the fall colors I gravitate to. Like I always go for a brown or I always go for like a purpley mauve. And so this one's like the perfect mix of all those things that I just naturally lean towards during the ball. Yes, it would be like if you were making an Avengers team of all your favorite fall vibes and then you just combine them into one. That's perfect. And then you get all the power. Yes, all the power of fall, all the coziness, the warmth, the darkness, the little bit of you know, happiness of the pink. It's all there. Oh. Maybe I'll make a little, um, I'll make like a Thanos Infinity Stone glove meme thing where it's like all the fall colors. Yes. All favorites. And then when he snaps his fingers, it makes Patriot of the Arts. That, that, that was random. But... 
I'm into that idea. Someone remind me if by the time this is live and you haven't seen that on our feed. Oh, someone, I got, by someone, I mean, it's obviously me. I got a little bit of red on my angelfish. Sorry, y'all. Um, this is self-portrait. It is the color I'm wearing right now. This is such a good, like, fall transitional shade, I think. Um, it is a light neutral blue, but it has this really lovely gray note to it. So I've pulled a couple friends here for us. Vintage is a lot more warm, but it does have that like touch of gray to it. Um, I would say self-portrait is like a vintage BP rank sort of mashup. Um, but again, when you sort of, I think if you put self-portrait next to a gray, it would look like a gray with a touch of blue. But when you get it with a bunch of blues, it looks like a blue. but we've always loved these sort of like icy, unexpected neutrals at all of in June. BP was one of the first colors we ever made. And we always thought that it was kind of an unexpected neutral. It sort of took you out of the world of like peaches and pinks and tans and beiges. And we were like, well, why can't blue or why can't lavender be a neutral? So I think self-portrait is such an appropriate name for a color like this because it's kind of like a self-portrait of the brand, if you will. I love that. But Angelfish is looking very green in this lineup, if you know, you know. I don't know why I said that. That was like me being J-Lo saying, if you know, you know, like no one knows what I'm talking about. I feel like it's, I feel like it ruined if you know, you know. Yes, it did. Because that was so the first thing I thought of. Orange drink. <laughs> R.I.P. if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um. All right. If you know, you know, you know that you can only get Girl with the Pearl Nail Polish with a system, a Manny system purchase this fall. This shade is a dream and it is going to be your layering best friend. And you may think to yourself, I have some pearly colors. I don't need this one, but you'd be wrong. And we're gonna show you why. So we pulled Frosty Gloss, Pink Goldfish, Atlas, fresh water. So let's talk about pearls generally. Pearls are natural items. So nature, no two things are alike. So if you're trying to find your perfect pearlescent sort of nail polish yet and you haven't found it yet, you might find it in Girl with the Pearl Nail Polish because Atlas and fresh water are more like silvery pearls that are really neutral. There's no like green or um, like pink shift to it. Baroque has a really strong kind of purple reflection to it, whereas Frosted Gloss has a very strong kind of green reflectiveness to it. And Girl with the Pearl Nail Polish is like a mix of like purple and green. It's almost more like a pearly pink goldfish than anything else. So it's very special and it is so stunning to layer with. Also, I'm pretty sure that if you were to zoom out, on the girl with the pearl earring painting mm -hmm. and her hands, she would be wearing this polish. Mm -hmm. Yes, this actually was a collaboration with Vermeer back in the sixth, I don't even know. I was an art history major, I don't know what year that was, but yeah, 100%. Yeah, I rumor don't... has it, she's wearing <laughs> her with the pearl nail polish. Rumor has it. You know what they say about rumors, D. Rumors have it. Rumors, rumors, yeah. Um, Girl with the Pearl Nail Polish, I don't actually know the ingredients on this one, but I would. it would look like it was made with crushed pearls. So it's beautiful, it's so sophisticated. It's beautiful, it's chic, it's effortless. Like that person who wears like a, a beautiful piece of pearl jewelry, they just like look super put together. That's this color for you. She's an icon. <laughs> she is the moment. All right, that has been the Swatch Show Fall 2024 with Dee and Liv. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know what you think in the comments. First comment gets a free gift from us, so don't all run at the same time. Yay. 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 All right, happy fall, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.